My gosh, this is so exciting. This is no doubt a historic milestone. And here in Space City, there are just so many hands and hearts that are working on this, working so hard to make this possible. We got to see that work firsthand. I just love this photo. You know, it gives me chills to see this um, moon in the background, our destination sort of calling to us. Courage. We're going back to the moon. The first time humans have left low Earth orbit in over 50 years. Duty. It's a projection of global leadership. Daring. Remember, our sights are not set on the moon. Our sights are set clearly on Mars. This is Artemis. Artemis 1, NASA's Orion spacecraft, will launch from the Cape atop its most powerful rocket ever, the Space Launch System, or SLS rocket. Orion will then fly further than any spacecraft built for humans has ever flown. A distant retrograde orbit around the moon. That's one small step for man, one building upon history. Many of the things we know are possible. Um, in a way, we've got a lot of advanced technologies that Apollo didn't have. So these are brand new vehicles. Here at the Johnson Space Center, we still gotta make the new v guys. Houstonians are getting to work. This is gonna be their first home away from home around the moon. In Building 9, if you look around, you will see mock-ups of all of the spacecraft that NASA currently has. So and of course, safety first. We went in. All right, here we go. Debbie Korth shows us inside Orion. I'm sitting in what would be the commander seat and you're sitting in the pilot seat. Um, looks a little bit crowded right now for launch. We've got all four seats installed. More roomy than Apollo. It's a 42 day mission, but Artemis one won't have crew. The flight test is the ultimate test and, and that's we got to make sure that this thing works, protects the crew. Like the new 186 block heat shield protecting the crew from temperatures up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. At NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab, the training for future Artemis missions begins. How are we going to train the astronauts to do moonwalks? So it's a six, 6.3 million gallon pool. I can bounce gently in this spacesuit. Giving astronauts the feel for the moon's one sixth gravity. We're talking about going to the lunar south pole, really difficult lighting conditions, really difficult terrain. So they're creating their terrain underwater. What is this? That's our simulated moon rock. We work with a local company. But first, Artemis 1 will be the first uncrewed test to prove the vehicles and ground systems work, paving the way. We're currently in Orion, which will launch on top of the space launch system. To bring humanity back to the moon and then Mars. To me, it's just the most awe-inspiring moment that we have had here at NASA. There is nothing that motivates someone more than doing. And that is what Apollo did, and that is what Artemis is going to do. We are going out there, and we are going to do this. Yes, they are. The launch is set for, for no, no earlier than Monday at Launchpad 39B at the Cape, and we will be wishing them luck. Oh, my gosh. It's just... It's I amazing. had chills when I was watching that goosebumps. <laughs> I'm getting emotional thinking about, wow, oh, wow. we're going to be doing this. It's a very exciting round. Oh, my gosh. Yeah.